All right, guys, Big Rich here with Hile Fish Rescue. Today we're going to have a nice, fun video. Uh, we've got all kinds of things to show you, so stick with us. And I just happened to be walking by and saw this guy like this, and it looks so cool. Hi, buddy. So I had to catch it on film. Stick with us. Are you done yet? You around. You don't stop it. <laughs> Now we're out here in this beautiful 58,000 gallon indoor pool pond that was made by Greg Whitstock from Aquascape. And it's just a beautiful pond. And uh, we're getting ready to, something happened while, uh, you know, the king of DIY was here. He was a little nervous about the fish. So we're gonna show him that we actually do get in here and do swim with him. And we're gonna try and get some underwater video also while we're in there. And, uh, there we go. There's the platinums. There's our floating plant thing there. And then all across that side, all of our plants. And then all those plants are actually down on the top step, drinking the water from the... I don't have to water them. So I'd like to have more ledges like that. Or make a tray all the way across this ledge right here, about a foot and a half wide, and put all these plants inside of it. Have water diverted from the waterfall over to this tray. Have it travel through the tray and then run back in over here. So that all these guys are, are watered themselves too. Some of them plants can't go in water like that, but 90% of them can. And then we can also do like arrowheads and stuff like that. And that way we never have to water them. They always take the, like this over here, this whole stream, this overflow basin used to go straight back to the, pond, the pool. Well, me and Josh put bricks here on the edge and mortared them in and then covered, that's our pool cover that housing right there is for the electric pool cover, which is this metal tray all the way down. So it would come out and you know cover the pool. We don't use it no more, so I put a liner over it, down through, up over the brick, and then down to the pool. Now we have the water coming back into it, hitting the rocks, and then going into this river area, we filled with gravel, and then plants. So it travels through all of this here, does a UE right here, and now it comes back in the water here. Let me see if I can get the waterfall area. It's right there. There we are. See that piece of the uh, Universal Rocks background right there? That's how the turtle used to get behind it. He'd go in that way. So we have to, you know, attach that to the wall in that corner. But, yeah, it travels through. All this water is traveling through here. This is water coming back in from the other room. And all these plants, they just feed themselves whatever water they want. And it's a, it's a good use of the water. So it's like a bog filter, natural filtration, taking out the nitrates. Instead of just running the water straight in, and then I could run a pump up to here and then run it through here, but no. Let it come down, go into here, and then we run it through and all the way back around. So, you know, we try and be efficient like that, using less, less energy and less pumps and trying to do everything together. Oh, look, there's Brock, he's getting in already. He's got his underwater camera thing going. And then... <laughs> we didn't catch that on camera. Do it again. <laughs> and then we got Skylar. And, and what are you planning on doing, Skylar? Well, what time is it? It's almost 6 o'clock. My shift's over, so Brock's taking over for me. So <laughs> I am getting in the hot tub. Awesome. Uh, you're not going swimming in here, though? I'll jump in. Yeah. Uh, listen, the whole premise of this video was Joey was a little nervous while he was here. Yeah, I'll show him there's nothing to be afraid of. Right. He thought them uh, alligator guards would, you know, snap at you or something. Um, and we're going to try and teach people now how and why that they really don't go after you. How did you fall in the pool, Brock? <laughs> okay, there goes Skylar. Is she not scared? <laughs> now, pretty much try and get them together around you. All right, so now she has to swim there because it's too deep. It's like six and a half foot. Uh, the pool used to be 12 foot, and it's full of an uh, aquascape ecosystem filtration under there. There you go. Now she's going to swim at the uh, alligator guards. There's, there's two of them there. Oh, you're standing on the wood? <laughs> there's three of them now. We've got one, two, and then three. You see the big guy around anywhere? I thought that was one of your final. <laughs> see how he's coming over to her? 
they're coming over to investigate her to see if she has food. And when they realize she don't have food, they'll just turn around and, and, and leave her alone. Or they might keep, oh, there's the big guy right here. There's a four-foot alligator guy. And, uh, what's that? Oh, he did? And uh, once they realize you don't have food, they pretty much leave you alone. So, and that's when they come up to me to see if I have food, I'll put my hand on them and then about right behind their head. And that way they don't snap at your hand or nothing. Don't think you have food, but you're touching them on their side. They'll swim away slowly and you can just, you know, pet the whole side of them. Yeah, he's really, he's, he's a beautiful alligator gar. They're all like, you got food, food, food. Don't back away. <laughs> yeah. See, he just turns around and goes back. But it can get scary when you've got two, three of them guys coming at you and they're like not backing off from you, but they're just interested in food. That's all. The big red tails down there, there's an air pima. You feel so weird. Oh, you just pet them? Yeah, about half of their body back you can pet. Oh, they non-stop pick at your feet, don't they? Your legs, your ankles. Yeah, they're the ones that bite you. I'm cichlids. I think it's the salt content on your on your skin. Yeah, those diamond fish are so cool. They're the so cool in their water. Diamond fish? Oh, the, the, them are uh, Oxydorus niger or Terashuki cat or ripsaw cats. The ones with the spikes out their side? Yeah, they look like, they look like alligators. Yeah. <laughs> And there's a big six-foot arapaima. Rock swimming over to him. And it looks like he's going to try and pet him on the side. See, now he's backing away. <laughs> they can definitely outmaneuver you in the water. That's for sure. Sure. I never realized how big this was. He's swimming by and he's as long as me. Longer than me. Yeah, he's a little bit longer than you. Here you go, Skyler. So it still can be used as a recreational swim pond. And the fish don't bother you. And as long as you don't bother the fish, like we can't have you know, eight people out here and everybody doing cannonballs at the same time. That would be crazy, you know, scaring the fish left and right. But, you know, so if one but actually we don't do cannonballs at all, but if somebody jumps in, that's okay. But, you know, the fish will move away and everything's fine. <coughs> Excuse me. So, but yeah, swimming with them is not a problem. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> our first mermaid, Skylar. <laughs> I said you were our first mermaid back in the day. I think that was like a year and a half ago. And then look at all these cichlids here. I'd like to get some underwater footage for you to show you how... Go ahead. Yeah, see, she's petting them. See, Joe and Little Boy, they're friends. Now, he'll probably swim after her because she's swimming away, so he'll be like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Nope, he's not swimming after her. But, you know, all they care about is food. When you're, when you're a fish and you got nothing to do, you're looking for food. So, it's a fun time still, and we're still going to get this going. Uh, still going to build it up. In the summer, we're going to buy a lot more plants. From last summer, we learned what we can and can't buy, what will live the winter, and we've had 90% of our plants live all winter long. We got this uh, Monstera right here. Where, where'd it go? Um, I don't see it. Oh, here's, here's one of the leaves. That plant does real well here. Of course, the uh, elephant ears do really, really well. And, you know, people yell at me and say, just cut them off and put the bulbs in the way, away until next fall. I don't have to. I just set the whole big bucket right in the, the first step. It's in like two inches of water. And this is how it grows all winter. It don't grow as, as big and as, you know, big leafed as, you know, summer, summertime plants being outside with the full sun. But this is only getting sun from these skylights. 
So, but these are pretty big leaves here for it to grow. This is what it, it's done itself. I haven't watered it once, done nothing to it all winter long. And, uh, you know, of course, ferns are very easy to take care of. Um, we did lose, we had four of these guys, these palm, and we lost three of them. And this one here ain't doing well. I think it's because we're watering it too much. But here's another, this one here we did cut down and let it grow back. And it's growing back on its own. Um, of course, the pothos, that'll grow crazy everywhere. It's all through that whole thing over there. We got some on top of this tank here that is just starting to grow up here that we we put just this little plant here and it put a thing down in the water and put roots in it and now it's starting to grow all on its own out and about coming down this way so we're going to eventually get this all covered with pothos over here and uh you know like arrowheads do really well um these guys here we don't move out in the summertime but if you see here let me let me here's one of the the leaves now this is let me see if I can swap the camera to me. Oh, nope, that's just showing my hand. Okay. These, these leaves are big, you know? This thing is huge. And, well, that didn't work. But anyways, this thing here, I'm going to reach up. I can reach up to eight foot. Now, that's right here. This leaf goes up another three foot up there. So that ceiling's at 12 foot, and it's about a half a foot away from the ceiling. So this thing here stays here all winter, or all summer and winter. And the same thing with this guy. This guy here stays indoors, and it's growing up now. It's way up there. Um, the only problem we've had with this plant is they had these little white mites. Oh, right here, some right here. And we have to wipe them off, like once every two months or so. You just wipe everything off of there, and you spray it with uh, rubbing alcohol and water mix, and it kills them. And, uh, but yeah, we got a lot of, a lot of plants that are, are, are still growing good. I don't even know what this one is, but it's growing and doing its thing. This one here thinned out really well, but it'll get back outside. This one will go back outside. Same with this. Same with this one. And, you know, all these little ones here we'll take back outside. That one didn't do well over the winter. It's, <laughs> it's hanging in there, so it might make it for until, you know, winter or summertime coming. And we'll just take them all back outside. But we got the plant there. And then, uh, well, that's a fake palm tree there. But these fake palm trees grow the best in the winter. <laughs> Let me come out here. No. <sighs> okay, now see, this is the area. This is what I call my bog filter right here. Uh, we have all kinds of irises and plants that will come up that we can keep outside in the winter. They'll come up on their own. But that is the ecosystem, uh, I'm sorry, aquascape ecosystem filtration. So it comes over this little lump right here. And then this is all full of plants all through here and all the way around this corner. And then it waterfalls back in. So that's what we fill up in the summertime. Now we have lilies all through here. Uh, and you can see some of them down there all around the corner. Now we tried, we got so many lilies last year and a lot of them, you know, made it. A couple of them died off, but this year they'll all come back and, and do good. All the, see these pots down here with uh, just dirt in them. They'll come back and uh, they'll start doing good. So uh, we're gonna fill this up with a lot more plants this year. And we're gonna do arrowheads out here cause they can stay outside. Um, some more irises or something in the corners and stuff like that and just fill in more plants make it look more natural you know we move this log over here and then we have that fake log there with some wiring under it so we've got things to do you know summertime's coming and it's going to kick off the back pond back there it's it's staying full now it never used to that's staying full we used to have to go out there and pump water in it all the time and we got the bridge going across right in the center here and uh that's where we got probably 350 koi in there so, let me get back inside. It's cold out here. <sighs> but the best bang for your buck are these plastic plants. <laughs> I've never killed one. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, it's chilly out there. Um, and then the uh, different, uh, like, spider plants and uh, grasses, ornamental grasses work great. Potos are awesome. They're everywhere. So, we're going to really, this summer, we know what to do and how to do it because we were testing all kinds of plants last summer. Uh, we've got the, the peace lilies out here on the floating island. We're going to put a couple more different plants in there and fill them up all the way. And they just float around. You'll see them in a different location all the time. So this summer I'm expecting this thing to really be jungled out and looking good. And, uh, you know, us knowing what we're doing. Is it much much warmer in there? Nicer? <laughs> it was nice today. 
And of course, we got our monster from the Black Lagoon uh, protecting the place, take care of it. That came from Jim Sheasley. And then we've got more pots and stuff that we can put things in. So we're gonna we're gonna be really gearing up for making this a full on onslaught jungle in here. And uh, you know, our biggest problem is in the winter time. We bring plants in, and then they get them dust mites, and then you have to go and wipe off every leaf. Well, it's hard when you've got leaves everywhere, just everywhere, you know? And if you don't get them all, they come back real quick. <coughs> so, look how big that arrow is. He don't look that big on, on camera, but everybody comes here. It's like, wow. He's, he's, he's chunky. He's big. And this is a... I think he's what three and a half foot, maybe even closer to four. He's he's every bit of thirty-two inches, but he's about I don't know. I'd say at least five inches from one side to the other. He's he's big. So hope you guys liked the video. Stay tuned. We're gonna have a whole lot better quality coming. We got uh, new equipment coming. We're gonna step up the the. I would say the professionalism of our live streams and our videoing of all uh, uh, camera, or I'm sorry, videos, and the production of it and the quality of the cameras we use. So everything is getting to step up. Now we're going to, we're sinking our spare money and our personal money into it to do it and uh, make things better for you guys. And try and grow the channel a little bit. Because the more money we can make on the, the channel, the more subscribers, the more things we can buy. Like, you know, this place here, I can, I can actually buy, there's a, see that's a Universal Rocks fake rock background. They have caps like this that would look like rocks on here. I can get rid of all these big rocks on here and then cover this up with that, but they're expensive. They're like, you know, I think it was uh, 60 bucks or 80 bucks a piece for each one, and each one's like, you know, a, a 10 by 12. And do you know how many I'd have to buy to go all the way around this? But, you know, if uh, YouTube steps up and starts giving us more money, we can, you know, spend more money on the beautification of this place and making the lives of the fish even more enriched and better so hope you guys like it stick around with us and uh you know share our videos if you can that would really help us out hit that subscription button stick around and you know watch us and as always stay fishy, my <laughs> you heard it right stay fishy my friends <laughs> bye guys